Hello everyone and welcome to English with Nasrin. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a, a quiz using Google Forms. And in order to do this, all you need to do is you go to your drive and you click on new and then you select new form and then a blank form. Uh, forms and then you would uh, get to this uh, blank form that you're going to work with in order to create a quiz. Now before we actually get started I'm going to show you a number of things. First you need to go to settings and once I go to settings I'm going to select quizzes here and then I'm going to choose the option of make this a quiz. Once I do that, I see that I have a number of other options that I could uh, change and edit. So for example, here, quiz options, release grade. I want the students to get their grades immediately after each submission. Or if I'm doing a quiz where I have open ended questions or questions where my students are required to uh, add in a paragraph answer, then I might want to go with the next option where I select later after manual review. OK, so then I click on uh, save. And of course, here the respondent can see can see missed questions, correct answers and point values. This is something that I also want my students to see. So I'm, click, I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to actually start uh, with, you know, uh, my quiz. I'm going to also do a number of things before I start to type in the questions. I'm going to customize the theme and I have the option of choosing or selecting a header. I could choose an image from one of these or uh, photos from uh, Google if I wish to search or I could upload my own. And I'm gonna, going to actually do that. I'm going to upload an image that I have already uh, prepared ahead of time and I'm going to insert that. So grammar check for understanding, done. And now it's going to appear um, here in the header of my quiz. And I could also choose the theme color if I want and change it. And I could also change the font, but I'm gonna stick with basic and let's just start with typing in the questions. And the, uh, the quiz is about present simple present simple okay and then I'm going to type in uh, the questions I just gonna copy and paste to save time I have already prepared the questions ahead of time so I complete the sentences with the correct present tense form of to be and then I'm going to start once I click on the box I could see that uh, I have to type in the question and I have different options I could select from and use so I usually start with name. And the reason why I start with name is because I'm using my personal account. If you're using your school account, then you don't need to do this. You would automatically, uh, your student's name would automatically be uh, shown and you don't need to know, um, you, you, know, you don't need them to type in their names, but because I'm using my personal account, so I prefer to start with name and then, I click on required because I do want them to type in their name and I add the next question. Uh, okay, so the next question is, let me just go back to quickly save time and just copy and paste the question. So do you like chicken soup? Okay, and I'm going to add in the options. So like, likes, and the last one was be like. Okay, so this is the first question. And of course it's multiple choice. Uh, and then I click on answer key here and I give that a grade, a point. So I'm just gonna give that one point. And do you, and I select the correct answer, done. And of course I could add an image if I wish. It would be nice for my students to see a visual as well. So I could also click on a Google image search if I don't have on my computer an image that is saved. So I could just type in chicken soup and, and then I just select a chicken soup image, insert, 
and I have that image as well. And then I click on reply to make sure that my students do perform that question. So I move on to the next uh, question where I'm going to type in the next question where it says he, okay. And I want my students here. I don't want it to be multiple choice. I want my students to actually type in a short answer. So he uh, doesn't not like to watch scary movies. And then I click on answer key here and I give that one point. And then I type in the correct answer. So he does not like to watch scary movies and I need to select mark all other answers in correct done. And of course, I don't forget to uh, make sure that it's required and that my students do perform this question. OK, the next question is let's just go back for a quick view. And he OK plays tennis every afternoon. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type that here and I'm going to not choose multiple choice. I'm going to click on check boxes and I'm going to add more than one correct answer. So he uh, plays tennis and uh, uh, plays a uh, basketball and one more option he not play as an incorrect option and not playing tennis as another incorrect option and then I click on answer key and it could be he plays tennis, he plays basketball and I'm going to give that one point and then I click on done. And of course I don't forget to click on required and I move on to the next question. It is a beautiful day and I'm going to add that question and I, I might say I might say complete complete the sentence okay and let's just type in it is a okay beautiful day and then I would select short answer and then I could add also an image if I want Okay, a uh, nice weather. Let's see. No, we don't want quotes. We just want images. And we could, for example, select an image and insert that as a visual as well for our learners. And then my students need to type in the answer. So it is a beautiful day. The correct answer is is I just going to give that one point and then I type in is and mark all other answers incorrect. And of course, I don't forget to select required. And then I'm going to add one final um, question. And let's see. Um, OK, file upload or if I want my students to upload a file or I could actually add um, a paragraph here, okay, uh, as well. So I'm going to go with uh, paragraph and I want my students to write, write um, three things you do every morning, okay? And here I want my students to uh, type in a few sentences. Um, uh, so for example, I could uh, I click on answer key and I could uh, give that a grading or a point. Okay, done. Add answer feedback. And then, no, I don't want to add answer feedback, cancel. And then I click on done and
and I click on required and here this actually requires me to check their answers. So uh, this is basically it. This is the quiz that I'm going to share with my students. Now, just to make sure everything's uh, planned and accurately done, I could click here on preview and I get to see the quiz from the perspective of my uh, students and my learners. And uh, here I could see that everything has a grade and a mark and I make sure everything is correct. And if I do it as a student actually here, I just type in my name, Nasreen, and then I move on to the next question. So do you like, and here, for example, he does not like scary movies. And here I'm going to select the first two and then it, let's do this incorrectly. So it says it is a beautiful day. So I'm going to click on, just type in R to show you feedback, how it looks like, right? Thing, three things you do every morning. So I wash my face, um, eat breakfast and uh, drink, drink coffee. Okay, so these are the things that I do. And then I click on submit. And once I submitted, I could get to see my score. So it says three out of five. And here, for example, it shows me also the questions that I did incorrectly. Okay, and I want you to pay attention here to write three things you do every morning. It actually uh, didn't give me a, a grading. And this because is because it's an open question where the teacher needs to manually check it. And this is basically it. And if I go back to the quiz here, there is something else that I would like to add, uh, which is through settings. And I click on presentation and I type here a confirmation message that I want my students to see. So if I, uh, I, I could type in, for example, a great job. And then I, sorry, great job. And then I could type in, please check your score. Just a minute, please check your score in Google Classroom. And then I click on save and it's done and ready for me to share with my students, okay? And at any point, I could also go back to uh, quizzes and I could check here, a type here later after manual review. And if I click on save, and I share this, I could actually do it again and I would see that I would get a different response here and I would need to go to Google Classroom to check my answer answers. So if I want to send this to my students, I could do it in a number of ways. I just click on send and I could either send it via email or I could do it actually uh, through typing, copying the link. And this is what I usually do. And I could also do a short URL and send a very short link as well. So if I click on short your shorter short URL, I get a shorter one that I could copy and send to my learners as well. So I really hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. All the best and thank you for watching.